Hi, today we're going to look at a feature of Word that not too many people actually know how to do properly. So I thought I would jump in there and give you guys a hand. The objective of what we're trying to do is to build out a document, but within that document have one page or more that's in landscape mode as opposed to everything else that's currently in portrait. So an example of when this would be applicable is, for example, when you want to paste in a full uh, big diagram that's quite wide. Normally, if you were to do that in a portrait page, then it may chop off that image at about you know three quarters of the width. So you don't want that. So in order to maximize the space, you want to put that on a landscape mode page such that you can actually stretch it out and it's more viewable. Otherwise, if you were to shrink it on a portrait page, then everything's so tiny that it can't be read. So how do we do that? All right, now uh, let's just go through to a new document and. I'm purposely zoomed out here on purpose, all right? So I'm going to just create some content. And to create a new page, for those of you that don't know, really all you're doing is you're going through to inserting a page break. OK, and that inserts there. The shortcut for that is the Control key and Enter. So Control Enter creates a new page. So I'm just going to create a couple of new pages here. All right, and let's pretend that I want to grab this uh, third page over here and insert um, some new content, but in landscape mode. Okay. Now the first thing is if we zoom in and then enable the, the actual hidden characters here, all right, as you'd expect, you can actually see the page break. Okay. Now let me zoom back out. All right. And what most people mistakenly do is that they'll go through to the page layout, go to orientation, and try changing that page through the landscape but you can see what happens here. Okay, so everything gets changed to landscape. So if you change it back, everything goes back to portrait. All right, so that's actually not the way to do it, as you can see. So the trick is, is basically going in and using uh, not a page break, but something called a section break. And to get to the section break, we actually go through to this section here. Okay, insert page and section breaks. We pull that one down and we go down to section break and next page is really what we're after. Okay, so it is not a page break, it is a section break. All right, so when I do that, let me zoom back out again. You can see that it looks the same as before. So a section break appears to be exactly the same thing as a page break. Okay, but look at what happens now when I change the orientation from portrait to landscape. Right, so from the, sec from the actual section that we're in, forward, so anything within that actual section will have its um, orientation changed and everything in the prior section will not get changed. So as you can probably assume, what we need to do then is to go back in here. So remember, this is the landscape, um, all right, landscape in here. So then this is where we'll be pasting in our wide graphic. So now what I want to do is I want for the rest of the content to basically be back in portrait from this point forward. So I simply add another section break. Okay, section break, next page. And let me zoom back out to show you that. So again, everything is in landscape here, but remember, I've just created a new section. So now if I change the orientation of where I'm at, which is this section here, by the way, back to portrait, we basically get what we want, right? So we've got portrait, one page of landscape, and then back to portrait, okay? Now one little, and that's basically how you do it, but one little thing to, to watch out for is if we zoom back in and then turn on the hidden thing. So you can see here the actual section break. Now if you don't have this thing turned on, what you could accidentally do is if I press delete now, which is basically I'm about to delete the section break, right? Let me zoom out to show you how this is going to affect it. Alright, so I click on there and I, I press delete. See how everything basically gets changed. Alright, so I've just deleted my actual section break. So you have to be careful when you're not viewing the hidden characters to not accidentally delete a section break because it can actually change things pretty uh, badly in not the way that you expect, okay? But basically, uh, like I've mentioned, if we review this, we're in uh, portrait mode, we then have a section break, okay? And then f this new section over here, we're formatted with an orientation of landscape, then we have another section break, and then over here we go back to portrait, okay? And that's basically how you can have a single landscape page in the same document where everything else is in portrait mode. For more tips and tricks, be sure to check out tech-informer.com.
That's tech-informer.com. Thanks.